welcome to the testing world in this session we are going to perform complete flow of data source and data sync so first of all i'm going to create a new project and that's a soap project using this whistle we have already provided all these whistle files or you can check this url and i'm giving the name data source and sync so i want to complete the flow i want to perform complete flow click on okay it is scanning the whistle that's a calculator whistle which is providing services of add divide multiply and subtract so first of all i am going to create a new test suite so that is my suite one inside the suite i am going to create a case so that is case one and inside the case i am going to add a step which is add calling the service add here first i want to check that my add functionality is working or not so i'm running it in the response we are getting this 30 means add functionality is working i want to execute this add functionality with multiple data for getting the multiple data from the different data sources i am going to add data source test step so i'm coming to my test step add and that is data source these data source data sync and data source loop which we are going to use in this session are only available in the soap ui pro so first of all i'm going to add data source and placing this data source at the start i want to pick two values value a and value b so here i'm going to create two property value 1 and one more property i'm going to create value 2 so now we have the two property with the value 1 and value 2 name so now moving to the data source which kind of source you want to use i want to use a excel file so to use the excel file first we need to prepare excel file i'm starting an excel and giving some inputs so like 10 20 30 40 55 inputs i'm preparing and here 100 200 300 400 500 500 saving this file to any location so on the desktop i have a new folder inside that we have a soap i am giving the name input dot xls saved it my file is saved so now i am moving to this location and that's the path that i am having so click so taken the path copy moving to soap ui and here we are giving path my file name was input dot xls worksheet is sheet 1 and you want to start from the a1 column means a means first column one means first row so i want to start with the first data now i want to check i am able to pick the data successfully or not running this you want to pick all the rows or only 10 rows so i say i want to pick all the rows here it shows you have some issues missing sheet it is not able to find out that sheet so if you want you can go there and that's my input xls i want to select and now running zero again it shows missing sheet 1 so let me check okay the mistake is i have mentioned s h w e t is missing over here so i have done sheet 1 now running it all the rows and here we can see we are getting all the data from the sheet so we have successfully picked the data from the data source now i want to use this data in our step so i'm moving to my step 
this get value from data source so which is data source value 1 and here I want to pick from data source and that is this and value 2 so I'm able to pick both the values from the data source as of now if I execute this it is going to execute only for the one data so if you want to check just run it and it is executing for one data if you want to execute it again so it is executing for one data only why it is not picking all the data because as of now we did not set any loop as of now we are just picking the data so it is picking only one data and when we don't have the loop it's going to pick last data so last data that we have is 50 and 500 so you can see that is the result is 550 because it is picking last data we are not running in the loop now I want to execute this addition functionality by all the test data to execute it by all the test data we need to run it in a loop I'm going to add one more step is a data source loop now here in the data source loop we need to define two items from where we need to pick data so we want to pick data from the data source step and what is the starting step of your execution so means I want to execute this addition in loop so when we set the target step target step means starting point of the loop because ending point of the loop will always be this data source loop step so starting with here and ended with here so it's going to execute five times add and then data source loop because it's going to execute in the loop I am I'm moving to the test case now I'll show you how we can execute this so I'm executing this first and it's executed successfully so let me check that we have executed all the times we have executed five times or not so first of all you can check we have five time execution even you can check data source is executed only one time and after that add and data source add and data source add and data source so addition starting point of the loop was this and ending point was this these two steps are running in the loop we can check it again also I want to check that every time we are getting the correct data or not so first time I am moving to this step double click and we are getting 10 and 100 and in response we are getting 110 second time I'm moving again to my test case second time it was picking 20 and 200 response was 220 so by this way we can validate that every time correct data is picked or not so last time it was like this 50 and 500 and the response was 550 so here we have set data source and data source loop now I want to save this result to a data sync so now I'm going to add a data sync so data sync test step and in the data sync I'm defining property with the name result going to my request and the result which we are getting I'm storing into the data sync property result everything is set in the data sync I'm going to select like I want to store into file and that's the file now going to the test case executing it and here we see executed successfully now I want to check it so moving to that location and output file we need to check we need to notice we are getting only one result so why because we have executed it five times so we should get result of all the five executions but it is giving a result only last execution result of only last execution so why it's happening because we know that when we set data source loop 
my starting point of the loop was this add and the end point of the loop was this data source loop. Here we can check data sync is placed outside the loop. That is because data sync is executed only one time once complete execution of this loop is done only one time data sync is executing and the last time we have the data which is 550 at a store 550 only even we can check our execution so data source executed one time and then add property transfer data source loop add property transfer data source loop and data sync is executed only one time at the end but the requirement was we want to execute data sync every time every time we are getting result that must be stored into the file so what we can do we can pick this data sync and place inside the loop so i have dragged this step and place inside the data source loop now this data source loop is the part of my loop which started from the add and going to end till data source loop so data sync is the part of the so now data sync is the part of the loop executing it again and here we can check execution so data source executed one time which is correct because it is outside the loop then add property transfer data sync again data source loop add property transfer data sync and data source loop so now data sync is executing in loop and as expected in result we should get all the response so here we can check all the responses are coming to the file and that was expected like we are giving different inputs to my file and and we are reading the data from the files and in the result whatever the data is coming from the server we are storing to the file now i want to do one more update like now i want to do one more update like as of now i'm storing as of now i'm picking the data from a excel file and storing the result into the txt file and now the next point i want to perform like i'm going to read the data from excel file and going to write the data into the same excel file so first of all i'm selecting excel and my input excel was input dot xls so i selected same file in the out file again same file is selected what is the sheet name so sheet name was sheet one and if i show you that xls file so here there is xls file in first two columns it's going to display input values in the third column i want to display output so here i can select my output is c one started from the c one close this file close this xls file and now everything is set i am going to my test case running it again so it shows like missing target property let me check it so one more thing that uh, we need to set like here we have transferred the result we have to transfer the result so i'm transferring it to the data sync which is property and that was my so let me check in the add we are transferring the data transferring to the add result so add result now i'm running it and here we see execution is done successfully once the execution is done let me go to the file and check so here we see we are getting a third column with the result data so in the first two columns we are passing input and in the third column we are getting result of that so in this test case or in this video we have covered how we can use how we can use data source data source loop and data sync in in a single test case so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video